Welcome back to Move365. What we're going to talk about today are patterns of movement that are proven to be the least stressful on your spine. So we're going to talk back pain specifically. And these movements tend to be the ones that we will adopt when we're in a lot of pain. You'll see people moving very very carefully and gingerly, not, not wanting to put their back in a position that's going to give them that jab of pain. And there's good reason for that. These patterns of movement, which we're going to start with a squat pattern, a hip hinging pattern, allow us to keep our spine in a neutral position. You're neutral. There is no definitive neutral. Your neutral might be slightly different to mine and maintain that neutral spine with a good wrap around of muscular support whilst moving at our hips. If we're talking specifically about lower back pain, the lumbar spine is not really designed for lots and lots of flexibility. It's designed to be the, st the sturdy and stable base of a column, the rest of your spinal column. And our flexibility should be coming from our hips in, in this mid part of our body. So we're going to show you how to control that hip movement, be uh, using exercises to maximize your strength and stamina in that area. So first of all, what's neutral? Well, neutral is that point in our lower back here, let's talk about lumbar spine neutral, that point in our lower back where we've got a little hollow shape, little hollow curve generally. Um, and I like to use a, a stick to demonstrate this on, on me. I've got a little hollow shape in here. I can put my fingers in between my back and the stick. Uh, so it makes this little hollow shape here, uh, three points of contact with the stick on the back of my sacrum, mid part of my my spine in my thorax, back of my rib cage, and on the back of my head. So again, I've got a little hollow curve here at the back of my neck. And wherever I move, I'm going to try and keep those three points of contact with the stick. So specifically with our hip hinge or our squat, as I bend, my hips go backwards. My knees must bend, so I'm just keeping them nice and soft. My hips go backwards and my upper body comes forwards to counterbalance the weight of my hips going backwards. And I'm balancing on my feet. Weight is more in my heels than on the balls of my feet or on my toes. And I'm performing this little squat movement, this little hip hinge movement. Now we can train that a little, a little differently. If you make a little V shape with your hands and Place your hands just on the front of your thighs, fingers to the outside, thumbs to the middle, and keeping your back straight or in a neutral position, I want you to slide your hands down towards your knees, stopping with that little V shape, just seating on top of your kneecap. Now, if I shuffle around to the side, I'm hoping that you can see my back is in a pretty neutral position, just, just naturally. So I've just put my hands in that little position, put them on the front of my thighs, and I'm reaching down towards my knees, keeping my head up, looking at the horizon. It's very important. Don't look at the floor because you can see what that does to my spinal shape immediately. It turns it into this sort of forward curve. So from neutral, V-shape with my hands, reaching down so that that little V-shape sits on top of my kneecap. And that's what we call a short stop squat position, which comes from baseball, foreign game. But I suppose, you know, we could call it a, a cricket slip fielders stance here in, in the UK. Um, so ready to, to catch the ball in the slips. 
So have a little practice of that. From that position, of course, we can sit down. And getting up out of the chair, we would just do it in reverse. Make sure if you've been sitting and you've changed your posture and you've you know, in, enjoyed your, your little relax for a while, that when you stand up, you, you bring yourself into a mechanically advantageous position. Bring yourself forward on the seat. Bring your feet back a little bit underneath your, underneath your hips slightly. So don't have the feet too far out in front because it's very difficult for us to stand up from there. You haven't got the mechanical advantage. Bring your feet back. I'd like, you know, you can also just take the feet a little bit wider uh, in order to give you a more stable platform to stand up. Sit tall, again, very important. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Don't look at the floor in front of you because you immediately lose neutral when you, when you do that. Keep your eyes on the horizon, sit tall. You can put your hands on your uh, on your, your knees or, or even if you've got a chair with arms, you can support yourself on there. Try not to push up using your arms, use your legs, but sit tall, forward, 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 hinging around the hips until you can essentially do the complete reverse of your short stop squat position. I think that's enough information for now. I think it's enough to practice. So go ahead, practice. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments down below. Please make sure that you give us a like and a subscribe, share with your friends, teach somebody else what you learned today because life is better when you're moving.